This episode is sponsored by Vorsos Media Empire. Folks, I'm really desperate for an interview here, so I'm going to talk to my sister, Kim. I'm really sorry about that, but if you'll just bear with us, we'll get this done as soon as possible. Kim, how are you doing? He has no clue how much this is going to cost him. This week on Talk About Topeka, it's the last of our special coverage for Topeka Municipal Elections. I'll referee the District 5 candidates Terry Crowder and Michelle De La Isla, along with the mayoral candidates Larry Woolgast and Michael Ogle. Tonight, with a record-setting third appearance on our show, Ms. Karen Hastings returns to tell us all about her stage production of Driving Miss Daisy. Uh, here's what she had to say about it last time. It's a show I've always wanted to do. I mean, I was always so young and um, <laughs> not ready for it, but now I am. <laughs> Today, I meet with Topeka City Manager Jim Colson. People want to see a downtown. We'll discuss the tough topics that are on Topeka's mind, such as, well, Beyonce's new hair, uh, the fourth Wolverine film in 10 years, the whereabouts of Jimmy Hoffa, uh, and then as we look right outside this door here, we are going to step out and see the Douglas DC-3 that we are going to be flying on today, taking to the skies. It's going to be a breathtaking trip. Say a little prayer for us, please. Well, welcome to the State House. We're going to have a top to bottom tour, literally. Nice new copper. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's... Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the outside. Top. Look outside. It's great. <laughs> I fly down to where the Topeka Library has stood for the last 60 years. I meet with the CEO, Gina Millsap, and Diana Friend takes us on a tour behind the scenes. If you have any overdue library books, now would be the time to return them. Well, we're out here at Lake Shawnee. We're setting up Winter Wonderland, and I am here with my 10th grade biology <laughs> teacher. I don't know whether I should call you Sherry or Mrs. Lundry. Sherry. So we're on uh, top of the drive-thru. We're on top of the drive-thru. I'm here with Eric Johnson. He's the president of the MTAA, and we're at Topeka Regional Airport. We're here at the Great Overland Station. We're going to be taking you all around the Railroad Festival. It's a beautiful Saturday. Let's get started. I'm jumping around like a grown man should not do but I'm still doing it anyways because I really don't care. So, uh, what brings you to the uh, Railroad Festival here today? Uh-huh. Oh, and by the way, I love what you do for me. Toyota! <laughs> We're gonna come see Going Bonkers on an, up an episode soon. So okay. yeah, yeah, very Thank good. You. Today, we are going bonkers. I may not have any kids, but that's not gonna stop me from acting like one. Let's go check it out. So I'm waiting here for the free PlayStations, uh, so no one's come out to give those to me yet. So I'm going to go ahead and check these things out. Taking the shoes off first, see? Wouldn't you like to be my neighbor? Yep! Woo! Boy, that's a slide right there. You know, I am, uh, whew, hold on. This stuff takes a lot of energy. We're starting out here at the Westboro Mart, and we're gonna begin taking you on the tour of the First Friday Art Walk. The toy store really is a magical place. Buy local. It's time to go to No Tuck. Let's go check them out. You would not believe how hard it is to find blimp parking here in Noto. So finally here and we're ready to start our trek down North Kansas Avenue for the Art Walk. There's thousands of people out here. They're all having a great time. There's music, there's food, there's fun, there's galleries. You know, when I was a kid, I was going to college. Uh, I dreamed of seeing scenes like Lawrence in Topeka. And uh, I say we got them right here. It exists. I think this place looks familiar. Last time we were in Nota with uh, Anita Wolgast, we stopped by the Yeldarb Gallery, but they were closed. So we're going to go on in right now because they're certainly not closed for the first Friday Art Walk. There are so many wonderful sights in Noto, but my favorite thing to do is to stare at the chess. Topeka, Topeka is, is a great, great arts town. town. So we're at the Merchant here in downtown Topeka, and we're uh, going to be looking at the chalk art drawings. The way this worked is the artists put chalk art out on Kansas Avenue, and then they had a cup like this, and uh, folks who would walk by and stuff their money in the cup to vote on which one they think was the best drawing. And all of the money goes to Let's Help, so it's a wonderful cause. And we're going to show you some of the drawings. It's starting to get a little dark out here, but I think we can give you some good results. Welcome to 
DART 2013. We have 26 teams doing the DART and 11 teams doing the Dartini, so uh, it's a record. All right. You're good to go. Yeah, no, just making sure. We've just run like 27 miles. I'm Chris Schultz. Today we're out here at KNI. We're going to be checking out the Hidden Treasures Mall and we're going to be speaking to their superintendent. Uh, the services provided here really do an effective job of meeting their needs and we have resources that allow us to provide really comprehensive services to the people who live here. I get these awards and I, I've been, a, a, I got a Champion of Character Award and I just keep shaking my head that I, they, I must have everybody fooled. <laughs> I, uh, I would not say that. I, I think uh, you're, we're lucky to have you in Topeka here doing this. People are still kind of leery and scared of sponsorship, of donation. Sure. Because what if the Topeka Veterans Day Parade doesn't stay and it goes away next year? You know, that's, that's where it comes down to we the people. You know, mm -hmm. we have to stick together. We have to get behind these causes and we have to make them work. And you have to start to change the world by doing it right here at home. The repeal of DOMA from the Supreme Court and as well as the Prop 8 ruling, we're talking about what's going to happen here in Kansas. You know, a lot of animosity with across the border with Missouri. Maybe yeah. it's mostly football and basketball, but yeah. still there's, there's, <laughs> well, there is that. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of this, you know, free state, slave state thing that you still pick up on. Do you think more people will choose to stay and fight for marriage equality or will they flee to other states who've already allowed it? Um, I, I think that I hope people still choose to stay and fight. Uh, this is the free state and uh, we should make ground here. That doesn't sound very realistic. That's because you're a heathen. Well, we were going to come here. I was like, Kansas, that backward state. I got here and I immediately ate my words. This feels like the big city. Yeah, it this is. This is, uh, you know, without being, you know, in Chicago or New York, this is our version of Chicago or New York here in Topeka. So. That's right we're able to provide tools that really can make a difference. We're not even going to be able to show you a smidgen of the things we were able to pick up here on this tour because these guys are a wealth of information. <laughs> wow! Join us for the new Talk About Topeka with five brand new segments. Learn anything and everything about downtown with Heart of Topeka. Stay ahead of upcoming events with Encounter Top City. Small Business Spotlight is exactly what it says on the tin. And then there was this little guy from Topeka that, you know, runs around and hands out water bottles. Nearly 50% are the most vulnerable. You have resources available to change your circumstances. That's the compassionate community. Finally, we've spun up our recommendation engine with arts, food, and fun. All that and more on the new Talk About Topeka.